welcome to Read It With Whiskey, the place to be if you are a sci-fi or fantasy reader. My name is Laura and I'm your host. I'm a reader, writer, and whiskey drinker. And today we're going to be talking all about the books that I read in 2022. And we're going to start with a confession. (laughs) So I had made a huge TBR list at the beginning of 2022. My goal was to have a book buying ban and to read all of the books that I currently owned. And this included some eBooks that I owned and then also paperbacks. And I had a lot of paperbacks. So I did this really cool thing where I wrapped all of my paperback books in backwards wrapping paper from Christmas. It looked like they were just wrapped in white paper secretly on the inside. It was Scooby-Doo Christmas paper, which is adorable. (laughs) So anyway, I wrapped all of these books and my goal was to read all of these books by the end of 2022. Well, that didn't happen. So (laughs) I had 37 nonfiction books and 65 fiction books on my TBR. Some of these in this number I did not own yet, but I wanted to get them. And my goal was to read all of the books on my TBR. And then as I finished a certain amount, I would be able to buy one of the books that I wanted to read that was on my TBR that I didn't own yet. So in total, there was 102 books on my TBR that I wanted to read in 2022. Just for reference, back in 2021, I read 104 books. So this was realistic for me to read 100 books and not only just 100 books, but the ones that I already owned. Like it would be very easy for me to do this, right? Not so much, apparently. Okay, so I had all these books wrapped. I had them on my wall and they were all numbered. And anytime I wanted to pick up a new book, I would use one of the little dice things or raffle things online and figure out out of numbers one through 20 of these books, which book am I going to do? Whatever popped up on the website, that's the book I would read. And I started doing this. The first book that I picked up was A Game of Thrones. And the the rule that I had for myself was that if I picked up a first in sequel, only the first in, in the series of multiple series of books that I had were on the shelf wrapped. The other ones were just put away in the side because I didn't want to like pick up book number three and start there, right? I would have to start at book one. So The first in each series were up on the shelf. And of course, A Game of Thrones was picked. And guys, these are massive. I have the first four books in the series. And I was like, this rule I made, I'm really hating it. Because the rule was, if I picked up the first in series, I would have to complete that series before moving on to another book. And I think that's where I went wrong. Because reading A Game of Thrones was a chore. It was very, very difficult for me. I could not get into it. And in the end, I did end up hybrid reading the first three books in the series, but currently I have the fourth book on loan from the library as an audiobook, and I still have not finished it. So that slowed down the process of reading the TBR list because I wanted to finish this series, and I'm still in book four, and it is tomorrow as I record this is 2023. So that's not happening. Uh, But I just wanted to give you guys that background because I did have this huge goal of getting a bunch of these books off my TBR and it's it didn't happen. I did, however, read a few of the books on my TBR. So of the total 65 fiction books that were on my TBR, I read 20. And for the nonfiction, there were 37 books on that list. And I will say about half of them I didn't even own, but they were books that I wanted to read. Of those 37, I read two. (laughs) So... I was I was very, very sad about that. 22 books out of the 102 that were on my TBR, I read. That is a terrible percentage. That's like 20% of my TBR I read. But you guys, I didn't only read 22 books. I ended up reading quite a bit more because I ran away from my TBR list like it was my job. <laughs> and I think everyone who has a big TBR understands this. Anyone who reads books and collects books, they understand this. So... How many books did I actually read then? All right, just for reference, I'm going to go over how many books I read in the past as well. I know I've talked about this a little bit, but just for reference, in 2019, I read 61 books. In 2020, I read 70 books. In 2021, I, I I just said 104, but I actually read 109. I don't <laughs> I don't know how I didn't get that right before, but 109 last year. Wow, I forgot about a bunch of those books. Anyway, so I've kind of been growing the amount of books that I was going to read every year, and I wanted to match that. 
However, I also wanted to be a little bit more realistic along with my writing. I'm not going to talk about my writing right now, but I was writing a book in 2022. And so I told myself I only had to read 52 books. That was my ultimate goal. Even though I had 102 on my TBR, I was like, if I can read half of that, I'm going to be happy, right? Well, obviously we know we didn't have that happen. So in 2022, how many books did I read? I read 84 books, and I am very happy about that number because there was a little bit of a reading slump in there, and I didn't know if I was even going to hit the 52 at one point, but I I read 84, and December was a huge component of that. I read 15 books in December. I still am just in shock. (laughs) Anyway, so every time I do this BIR episode, I make sure to talk about how those books break down. So when I break down the types of books that I read, first of all, I always talk about the format of the book. And obviously we have physical copies, we have ebook, audio, and then there's hybrid that are a mashup with audio and either ebook or paperback. And so total for the entire year, I read 37 paperbacks, 34 ebooks, seven audio, and six hybrid. Now that ebook number is up significantly, like over double. Back in 2021, I believe I read 15 ebooks. And this year being at 34, that's just incredible. And that definitely took away from the paper because last year in 2021, I did read 48 paperback. And now in 2022, I only read 37. A huge component of that was the Amazon Kindle challenges that I've been participating in. I've been wanting to read the books off of my ebook TBR. And when I originally made that 102 TBRs at the beginning of 2022, it didn't actually include any of my Kindle books. And so if I had included those, probably about 34 of those would have been <laughs> for for the TBR, but I didn't include them. So I was really excited to have read that many ebooks. Like you know, if you've been around, I don't especially like reading ebooks, but I've grown to really enjoy it. So I was excited about these numbers. Um, Obviously, the paperbacks are always going to win out because I prefer a physical copy of a book. So another big component is to figure out how many books I've read that are traditionally published, self-published, or unknown, basically. Other unknown could be like just a book that I read that I have no idea where it came from, or it could be really, really old, and I don't know if it was originally mass-produced or traditionally published. And anyway, so... Of these categories, I read 13 traditionally published books, 69 self-published books, and two were unknown. 69 books self-published. You guys, I have always tried to have a very high percentage of self-published books, and this is the highest percentage I have ever had. Just for reference, last year, I in 2021, I read 56 traditionally published books and only 50 self-published. So to completely switch those numbers up, only 13 traditionally published. This year in 2022, I, I'm so excited about this. 69 books were self-published, and a majority of those are books that are featured on Read It With Whiskey or they're going to be featured on Read It With Whiskey. But a lot of the other self-published books, I just found random books to read and I really just dove in full force. So I was really excited about that. All right. The next category is why did I read the book? Was it just for fun? Was it business development or for some type of purpose? And then was it for read it with whiskey? This year, I really dove into the just for fun category again, because if I'm reading books only for business or only for the podcast, I burn out so hard. And so I read 41 books just for fun. I read 18 for business or some type of purpose, and then 25 books were for Read It With Whiskey. Also, a lot of those just for fun books were sequels. I read a lot of sequels for the books that I had had featured on Read It With Whiskey. And don't worry, at the end of this episode, I will list out all of the books that I read, which is, I know it's insane, but I just wanted to be able to give you that later on. All right. And then the fun part is the genres. I love talking about the genres and it surprises me every single time. So my leading genre last year was fantasy, followed by sci-fi, followed by uh, personal development or self-help type of books. So this year, the leading is fantasy. (laughs) The second place is sci-fi. And then I have a tie between craft books and contemporary romance. What? (laughs) Who am I? I never read contemporary romance. Apparently I do. 
Anyway, so fantasy, I read 31. Sci-fi, 26. Craft books and contemporary romance were tied with reading eight in each category there. Then I read five business development books, two historical fantasy books. I read one self-help, one spiritual, one contemporary, and one historical fiction. So yes, historical fantasy and historical fiction, I did split those up. So definitely, obviously, very high on the fantasy sci-fi, but I am kind of bummed that I didn't read as many self-help and business development books as I have in the past. I mean, if you clump all of these non-fictions together, what is that? Eight plus five, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's about 16 books that were in that category of non-fiction. But I, I like to have at least one spiritual book every month and one like personal development, business development book every month. And obviously I failed because I only read one spiritual book this year which astounds me because that was a huge motivator for me last year. So this is just so crazy to me. I'm like, my mind is blown (laughs) by these numbers. I would like to kind of talk about anything that really surprised me before I list out all the books that I read. The first really surprising thing was December as a whole. December, I read 15 books Three of them were for the podcast and they were in paperback format, but the other 12 were all ebooks. And I read all of them from between like the 19th and today, which is the last day of the year. So I was like binge reading. And this it's surprising, but it's really not because a lot of these were actually novellas. So I'm going to list them out later on. But let's see, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were nine novellas that I read, and the majority of those novellas, I read them within like an hour or two. They were very short. I wanted to get my reading numbers up, but it wasn't like I was cheating. I'm still reading books. And they were all books that I actually owned on my digital e-readers. So I was very proud of myself that I got through all of them, and they were really, really fun also. But that was something that was really, really surprising for me. Um, Something else that was really surprising was that I did actually read a self-published book every single month. I think last year there were a few months where I didn't read any self-published, so that was a good thing. And then, I mean, ebooks as a whole, I talked about that already, how crazy that was, um, just have having had read that many ebooks within the year. And then the other really crazy thing was the hybrid reading. So 2021 was a very heavy hybrid reading year. I read 23 books in a hybrid format, but then also I read 23 audiobooks, and those were separate. So that's 46 books that were at least partially through audio. And this year, I only had seven audio and six hybrid. So that's, what is that, 12? I can't do math, 13. (laughs) So 13 books that were at least partially audio versus 46. That's a huge, huge difference. And I really have no idea what was different. Maybe I listened to more podcasts this year, and so I didn't listen to as many books. But I will say towards the end of 2021, I did overdo it. I think I read like 18 audiobooks in November last year or something crazy like that, because if I wasn't writing for NaNoWriMo, I was listening to an audiobook. So that could definitely be the the differentiating factor there. So that was something that was really, really surprising. Right. And really quickly, before we dive into the list of books, how many books did I read each month? January, I read five. February was three. March was five. April was three. May, I read seven. June, I read eight. July, I read 14. August, I read four. September was six. October was six. November was eight. And December was 15. So definitely every six months, I have like a peak of writing fever. (laughs) Obviously, like July and December were over 10 and all of the other months were under 10. Also, the beginning of the year is always really tough because at the end in November, December, I'm always pushing to read a lot more to hit my goals. So then January and February are usually a little bit less than normal. Uh, So that was definitely expected. All right, it is time for the list of all the books. And I will state 
a few little factors about each of the books if I find the reason to. However, if I took a minute to talk about each of these books, I mean, there's 84 books, so that would take well over an hour. So I am going to make it pretty quick here. So if you have any questions about any of these specific books, please message me. You can go to Instagram at Read It With Whiskey, and I'm going to have a post about the BIR episode that you're listening to right now. Uh, but I also would love for you to DM me if you don't want to comment on that post and ask me questions about any of these books because I'm definitely open to the questions. So let us dive in. All right. Book number one was Scion of the Oracle by E.A. Robbins. This was a Read It With Whiskey read, and her episode went out on the podcast on March 15th, 2022. Book number two was The Mortal Gate by Seth Overton, another Read It With Whiskey read, and his episode went out on the podcast on March 29th, 2022. Book number three was The Invisible Tether by J.P. McDonald, another Read It With Whiskey book, and his episode went out on the podcast on April 12th, 2022. Book number four, The Next Right Thing by Emily P. Freeman. Book number five, Thine Eyes of Mercy by Danielle M. Orsino. This was actually a sequel of a Read It With Whiskey book. This is part of the Birth of the Fae series, and Danielle was on the podcast, and her episode went out on February 15th, 2022. Book number six, Faded to Burn by Emmy Hamilton. Emmy was on Read It With Whiskey, and we talked about the first book in the series, Chosen to Fall, and her episode originally posted on May 25th, 2021, so she is from way back in the beginning of the podcast. Next up is The Lost Soul by Patrick Johns. This was read number seven, and this is also a sequel to a Read It With Whiskey book. So Patrick was on the show, and his episode released on November 23rd, 2021. So The Lost Souls is the sequel to Junkland. This is of the hoarding series. Book number eight was Believe by Randy Frazee. Book number nine, Cloaked Shadows by Melissa Hawks. Book number 10, Kingdom of Lies by R.S. Williams. And this was a Read It With Whiskey read. R.S. Williams episode went out on May 10th, 2022. Book number 11, Within Cessation by Noir Hayes, another Read It With Whiskey book. And her episode went out on May 24th, 2022. Book number 12, Kama Aena by Bran Kairos, another Read It With Whiskey read. And his episode went out on June 7th, 2022. Book number 13, Drums of Autumn by Diana Gabaldon. Book number 14, Essentialism by Greg McCohen. 15, Rebekite by O.R. Lee. This was another Read It With Whiskey read, and his episode went out on June 21st, 2022. Book number 16, A Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. Book number 17, Those Left Behind by N.C. Scrimger. And this was a Read It With Whiskey book, and her episode released on July 5th, 2022. Book number 18, Death's Intern by D.C. Gomez, another Read It With Whiskey book, and her episode went out on July 19th, 2022. Book number 19, The Infinite Infinite by M.K. Williams, another Read It With Whiskey book, and her episode went out on August 16th, 2022. Book number 20, A Clash of Kings by George R.R. R. Martin. Book number 21, The Successful Author Mindset by Joanna Penn. 22, The Relaxed Author by Joanna Penn and Mark Leslie Le Fay. 23, New Identity by Tanaya MKD. This was a Read It With Whiskey book, and Tanaya's episode went out on August 30th, 2022. Book number 24, 10 Secrets to a Best Seller by Tim McCoy. Book number 25, The Calling by Destiny Hawkins. This is book two following The Descendants by Destiny Hawkins, and it is a sequel to a Read It With Whiskey episode book. Uh, Destiny's episode on Read It With Whiskey went out on March 1st, 2022. Book number 26, The Mirror Souls by Julia Scott, another Read It With Whiskey book, and Julia's episode went out on August 2nd, 2022. Book number 27, Meraki by Naomi Kelly, another Read It With Whiskey read. Her episode went out on September 13th, 2022. Book number 28, The Gilded Mirror by K.E. Barden, another Read It With Whiskey episode book. And this one released on September 27th, 2022. 
Book number 29, The Pleasure Zone by Cairo. Book 30, The 716 by S.J. Pratt, another Read It With Whiskey read. Her episode released on October 11th, 2022. Book number 31, The 12 Step Book Launch Strategy by Pagan Malcolm. Book number 32, To Flee a Starless Sky by N.C. Scrimger. And this was a prequel to Those Left Behind, which was an episode on Read It With Whiskey. So, And her episode, again, went out on July 5th, 2022. Book number 33 and 34 were the first and second in a duology. First one was King's Men and the second King's Horses, both by Lena Skye. Book number 35 was the first five pages by Noah Lukeman. Book number 36 was special because I reread the first book in my sci-fi trilogy, The Shockwave. So I read Transient Pulse by me. Number 37, The Exodus Betrayal by N.C. Scrimger, another prequel to Those Left Behind. Book number 38, Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Book 39, another book by me, I reread Oscillation Rising, and again, I reread book one and book two in the Shockwave series to prepare in writing the final components of Static Equilibrium, which I ended up publishing. So that's why I reread those books, and I'm counting them because I did technically read a whole book, so they count. They count. All right. (laughs) Book number 40, Ready Player Two by Ernest Klein. Book number 41 here by Jenny Bunting. Jenny was featured on Read It With Whiskey, and we talked to her about Hustle, which is part of this uh, Here in Lilyvale series. So here is the first book in this series. Hustle, I believe, might be book two or three, but these books don't have to be read in sequential order. And Jenny was on Read It With Whiskey, and we interviewed her in her episode released on May 11th, 2021. So she was back before we switched over to only doing sci-fi fantasy. So this is a romance series. Book 42, My Evil Mother by Margaret Atwood. Book 43, The Lobotomist's Wife by Samantha Green Woodruff. Book 44, Something Blue by Christy Nicole. And Christy was on Read It With Whiskey. Her episode released on December 6th, 2022. Books 45 and 46 were both by Kate Sheeran Swed. 45 was Power Struggle, and following that was Alter Ego. So Power Struggle was actually the prequel novella, and then Alter Ego is book one in the series. And we did talk about this series with Kate on Read It With Whiskey, and her episode released on November 22nd, 2022. Book 47, Cat's Island by Catherine E. Soto. Book 48, A Layer of Bones by Helen Shura. And she was featured on the podcast on October 25th, 2022. Book 49, The Anahata Divide by Julia Scott. And this was the sequel to The Mirror Souls. And again, Julia's episode went out on August 2nd, 2022. Book 50, The Delivery Co. by Lane Northcutt. And his episode on Read It With Whiskey released on November 8th, 2022. Book 51, Those Once Forgotten by N.C. Scrimger, and this was the sequel to Those Left Behind, and I think this was the fourth title by N.C. Scrimger that I read for the year. I read a lot of her stuff. Book 52, we have officially made it to our annual goal. I had the goal to hit 52, and number 52 was Boogie Beach by Winnie Winkle, and she was featured on Read It With Whiskey on December 20th, 2022. She was the last episode of the year. Book 53, How Your Book Sells Itself by Bethany Adezada and Mandy Lynn. Book 54, A Storm of Swords by George R.R. Martin. Book 55 and 56 were both by Bethany Adezada and Mandy Lynn. They are in their series of nonfiction books for authors. So 55 was Grow Your Author Platform and 56 was Book Sales That Multiply. Book 57, How to Start Writing Sci-Fi and Fantasy by R.S. Williams. Book 58, A Book a Week by Kate Hall. Book 59, Secrets to Selling Books on Social Media, again by Bethany Adezada and Mandy Lynn. I read their entire series in the end of the year here. Book 60, Pariah's Lament by Richie Billings. And this is a Read It With Whiskey book. And his episode was the first to release in 2023, releasing on January 3rd, 2023. Book number 61 is the final book in the Shockwave series, Static Equilibrium, written by me. And I did do a final read through. And because I wrote the majority of this book in 2022, I couldn't not include it in my reading list. So my final read through of the book, which was days before it published, 
definitely had to be included in my BIR. Next up is book 62, Plan a Profitable Book Launch by Bethany Adezada and Mandy Lynn. And that is the final of the five books in their series. And I finished them up. Book number 63, Return of the Dragons by R.S. Williams. And as you heard a little bit earlier, she was featured on Read It With Whiskey. And again, her episode went out on May 10th, 2022. So this was the sequel to Kingdom of Lies. And I actually started reading this because I was a critique partner for the final book in this trilogy, which I'll get to in a minute. Book 64, Dr. Ice Pick by Claire Prentice. Book 65, Love and Boba by Colin Pennywick. Book 66, Tournament of the Elite by R.S. Williams. This is a prequel novella to the Kane saga, which I just talked about a second ago. Book 67, The Anatomy of a Best Seller by Sasha Black. Book 68, Through Fire and Ruin by Jennifer Becker and Alice Carpiel. This is a Read It With Whiskey book, and their episode is going to be released on January 17th, 2023. So as this episode goes out, that is the next episode that will follow this episode. Very exciting stuff here. Book 69, Lost in Time by A.G. Riddle. Book 70, The Cursed and the Broken by Chloe Hodge. This is an upcoming release on Read It With Whiskey, but I do not have the final date as of right now, but keep an eye out for it early 2023. Book 71, Call of the Guardian by J.M. Williams, another 2023 episode that'll be coming out soon. Book 72, Eclipse by Herman Stornigal, and he is another episode that's going to be coming out on Read It With Whiskey in the early 2023 timeframe. Book 73, The Original Midorian by Julia Scott, and this is the final book in the Mirror Souls trilogy, and I was so excited to finally read this. Book 74, Those Who Resist by N.C. Scrimger, and this is the final book in the Waystations trilogy by N.C., and I was so excited to read this one as well. To be able to finish up two trilogies back-to-back, The Original Midorian by Julia Scott and then Those Who Resist by N.C. Scrimger, finishing up those trilogies within days of each other was such a treat. I really enjoyed that. Book 75, Escape the Tyranny by Jake Wessel. And this was the start of the novellas of December 2022. So this was the first novella I read, and you'll hear (laughs) there's a string of novellas to follow. Book 76, Interview with a Van Lifer by M.K. Williams. M.K. was featured on the show, and her first book, The Infinite Infinite, is what we talked about in the episode for Read It With Whiskey on August 16th, 2022. And this was just a short story by her, and it was a novella. Really, really enjoyed this. All right, books number 77, 78, 79, and 80 were all by Helen Shora. So the first three were the prequel novellas to A Lair of Bones, which we had on the podcast. We interviewed her about that book on the podcast. Her episode, again, released on October 25th, 2022. So the three prequel novellas were titled A Song in the Deep, The Law of the Lair, the Tides of War. And these were really great novellas to lead up into the series. Definitely highly recommend. And then 80 was An Alchemist Vow again by Helen Shora. And this is the prequel to her new book coming out this spring. Book 81, Happiness by Jenny Bunting. This is actually a prequel novella to the Here in Lilyvale series that I mentioned earlier on in this episode. This was a novella, really cute and sweet. Book 82, Stardust Wake by S.I. Clark, another novella. Book 83, Threads of Betrayal by R.S. Williams. So this is the final book in the Kane saga by R.S. Williams, and I was actually a critique partner for this book. So this book will be releasing in the fall of 2023, and I really enjoyed being able to be a critique partner and wrapping up this series with R.S. Williams. Such a fun series. Definitely check it out. And the final book in 2022 is book number 84, Beyond the Shallows by Christy Nicole. Again, Christy Nicole was on the podcast featuring her book, Something Blue, and her episode was out December 6th, 2022. And this is a novella of hers that I read, which is a prequel to a different series that she has. Oh, that was a lot of books. And there was a lot of repeats there. Saying it out loud made me realize how many books or how many authors I have reread. There's definitely some series that I was working on. But I mean, Helen Shora definitely popped up quite a few times. So did R.S. Williams, Bethany Adezada, Mandy Lynn, Joanna Penn, M.K. Williams. All of those had at least two. Julia Scott was in there quite a bit as well. Um, Also Jenny Bunting. So there was a bunch of different authors that I read multiple books from. 
And one of my goals moving forward is to read more sequels from Read It With Whiskey because I like finishing up sequels. I'm a finisher. (laughs) I need to finish them up. So that was a lot of books. That was a lot of air that I had to just breathe. So let me take a little second. All right, I'm back. And I did want to point out a few different things. So first of all, I did not did not finish any books. I did not DNF any books. There were a few that I wanted to DNF, but I wanted to finish them. And so I kind of fought with myself to finish them. However, overall, the majority of the books that I read, I actually really enjoyed. And I think sometimes pushing through a section that you really don't like in a book makes you find the section that you really do love in a book. So that's one of the reasons why I try not to do not finish books, but I am going to have an episode about that in the near future. So I'm not going to talk more about it right now. All right. So overall, I am really proud with my reading progress for 2022. I think 84 books is astounding. I I definitely get jealous of the people when I see they've read like two or 300 books. Like, how are you possibly doing this? Do you have a job or do you just read for a living? Because I would love to read for a living. Oh my goodness. But I'm like 109 last year was really, really pushing it for me. And so, yes, I had a TBR of 102, but I didn't necessarily think I would I would meet that. I don't know. I had hopes that I would, but obviously I only read 22 of those books anyway, so it didn't matter. Anyway, I had so much fun making this episode for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and made it all the way to the end. What's missing right now? Okay, I just told you all the books I read in 2022. So what's missing? The books that I'm going to read for 2023. So that's what we're going to be talking about in two weeks. So make sure you come back. My 2023 TBR has definitely evolved since even since recording this episode today because there are so many books from my 2022 TBR that I didn't get to that I really want to get back to in 2023. So I'm really excited to talk to you guys about it. So again, that will be back in two weeks because next week we have another interview. So next week on Read It With Whiskey, we are talking with Jennifer Becker, and she is one of the two authors of Through Fire and Ruin. Jennifer co-wrote this book with Alice Carpiel, and I am so excited for you guys to hear this interview with Jennifer. Through Fire and Ruin is a a human and fae kind of split world, and there's going to be some crossover with a human going to the fae world, learning a bunch of secrets. It's definitely magical fantasy, and there is some slow burn in there, so you do not want to miss this episode next week. I'll talk to you then. You've been listening to an episode of Read It With Whiskey. I'm your host, Laura Gentinen, and I want to personally say thank you so much for listening. Your support of the podcast means so much to me, and I would love to get to know you. Hop on over to Instagram and follow us at Read It With Whiskey. Please chime in on this episode's post, share it on your social media and with your friends, and come back next time to hear more from self published authors. I'll talk to you soon.